Welcome back. So how does the Apple Silicon compare to a real GPU like the RTX 3080? Let's find out. With AI taking over everything and having huge processing demands, we got to know how our stuff performs. So we'll be comparing the M1 Max base Apple Silicon versus the RTX 3080 10 gigabyte model in terms of AI video processing using Topaz's Video Enhanced AI or VEAI for short. Okay, let's jump in. We'll look at three types of processing in order of what I think is the most popular to least popular application of video AI processing. One, upscaling. Often from older videos, but not necessarily, just going from a lower resolution to high resolution, from like SD to HD or HD to 4K. Next, frame interpolation, which is just adding additional frames in between the existing ones to increase the frame rate, usually used for slowing down to get that slow motion effect. And finally, stabilization, to fix those jerky clips that would otherwise be unusable. Upscaling a 53 second H.264 1080p to 4K H.265, the Mac got it done in 581 seconds. While the 3080 did it in 13 minutes 45 seconds, the Mac was 30% faster. Next, using a 10 second 4K 30 frames per second clip, it was upscaled to 60 frames per second. The Mac took 692 seconds or 11 minutes 32 seconds and the 3080 crushed it by doing it in 442 seconds or 7 minutes and 22 seconds. And now the tiebreaker round, stabilization. The Mac reclaims the lead by completing it in 437 seconds versus 610 for the 3080 for a solid 28% lead over the 3080. And just for fun, using the 10 second clip, I did all three stacked in a single run. Predictably, the Mac came out ahead at 477 seconds versus 716 for the 3080. And here's the summary. The Mac does really well when upscaling and stabilizing. The GPU kills it for frame interpolation. Keep in mind the GPU itself is pulling at least two times the power draw of the entire Mac. So if you're doing tons of processing and want to save on electricity, going all Apple Silicon might be cheaper in the end. Okay, hope that helped. Please do subscribe and see you in the next one.